So babies, we're hopping right into this tutorial. If you're new here, go ahead and tap that like and subscribe button. My favorite style ever is the chunky Marley twist, you guys will know. And I feel like this is just the cousin to that style. I went ahead in with this hair, which is the water wave pre-stretched hair that I got from my local beauty supply. I used the color 1 and I'm going in with 20 inch hair. I used three packages of this dual wefted hair and for each twist I'm going in with two different strands here. I'm taking the strands and then I'm going to go ahead and start distressing them and making them a little bit fluffier and larger for the chunky style that I'm going to achieve. For this tutorial, I watched Katherine Bedell's video along with multiple others and you're going to need this crochet needle to get the best results. I'm starting off by sectioning off some of the twist of my hair. I went ahead and pre-twisted my freshly washed and conditioned hair. You're going to start by taking the crochet needle while it's open and placing this through the root of your twist or braid. Then I'm taking the strands that I prepared and I showed you guys and I'm just going to start tugging it through the root of my hair. Now you don't have to worry about closing the crochet because it's going to close as you pull it automatically. Once you pull it out, you'll have this pre-made loop that I'm showing you right now. You're just going to take both ends of the strand of hair and you're going to pull one section through to one side so that you have it already through both sides of the root of your twist. Depending on how crisp and clean you want this look, if you've been an OG, you know that I love a more natural style. You might want to go in with their edge control a little bit earlier in the beginning of the twisting process, but I like to add my edge control during each individual twist and it kind of helps sculpt and just help with the parting a little bit without making each twist too perfect. So I'm keeping this one in real time. I want to show you guys what it looks like exactly. You're going to take the end of the twist and just start wrapping it around the strand of hair. So for one hand, which is the hand that's closest to the right of the screen, I'm just going to hold my hair and a strand of that hair collected while I take the opposite strand and wrap it around. I hope that makes sense. So again, I'm taking, as I wrap my thumb, just to kind of pull and separate some of the hair, which is gonna create the butterfly bulge. Now I actually had a hard time with like my hands and positions, and I feel like if my hands were a little bit more secure, this probably would have came out a little bit neater, but I think that this did help with the overall like messy look. So as you guys can see, I'm swapping hands a little bit, kind of loosening up my grip just to make it a little bit more chunky to my liking. But overall, you just want to keep wrapping all the way down the strand. And here and there, I would take my thumb and just pull some of the hair out so that it leads that bulging kind of butterfly effect. All right, so boom, once you get towards the end, you're gonna look something like this. You wanna wrap it around your thumb, like so like that. You're gonna grab it with your finger. Then you're gonna take your opposite hand, grip it like so. And then once your thumb is placed there around the circle you created, you're just gonna keep wrapping around that circle. I'm gonna show you a closer zoom. I still have the circle pulled at the bottom and I'm still wrapping around, taking my thumb, pulling out some pieces, just to make sure I keep that butterfly lock effect. I found this to be the hardest part of the look, which is why I'm gonna show you guys so many times because the more that I looked at the videos, the easier it got. So don't be afraid to mix in your own technique, but really it's as simple as creating a circle and wrapping it around that circle. Once you've wrapped the entire strand, it's going to look something like this, girl, maybe even better, and that is just how I've done my entire head.
So guys, this is the final look. This is how my hair turned out and I was absolutely in love with it. It's super original and it definitely has my own personal touch to it. But I feel like this is a super easy look for those of you who are interested in trying it. I definitely would suggest it. It's super affordable and it was very quick and easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And also give this video a big thumbs up if you're interested on in seeing how to take these down. I definitely was hearing a different variety of comments. I had to watch some YouTube videos. So I made sure to record myself taking these down and again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next upload